All right, welcome to another Fiddlehead Fiddle Lesson. We're now going to return to the tune, Waltzing Matilda. I've already done a basic beginner version of this tune, and in this video we're gonna show you how to add variations to it. So if you haven't done the basic version or don't already know the tune, you should learn that first. So I'll put a link to that in the comments field below. Um, I'm just gonna go through, play this version I cooked up, and then show you um, we'll go through each part of the tune and we'll play the basic version and play the version with the variations I added and kind of compare and contrast. I'm not going to go too much into the fingering and the, the note by note like building of the tune. It's going to be more like what types of things are possible on the tune. All right, so here we go. So, start by saying that there's a few main things I've done in this, and one is um, some double stops, and so you can practice double stops. All right, the tune's in the, uh, this version is in the key of D, so um, you can start by playing your D and A together. All right, just get that D major double stop. All right, next step you can do um, is to really know the scale well. So it's D major scale. Um, a lot of what the very types of variation I'll be adding this is what I call a melodic variation, where you add or subtract notes from the scale. So if you know the scale really well for the tune, you can know what kinds of things you can do with the tune. All right. So the basic D major scale is, and then it'd be helpful to know the notes on the G string. D, high three, two, one, and open. All right, which corresponds to um, all right. So knowing that will um help a lot with this. So uh, let's see the beginning. Let's let's go through the tune part by part. Here's the first quarter. Um, basic version was this. So I added um, just some notes from the scale to fill it out. So less long notes and more just eighth notes. Two, one, two, three. And then one, open, one, two. So the beginning now sounds like. And then like the basic version will still do. But then I add another an open G at the end. All right, so now the whole first quarter is sounding like. All right, here is again. All right, you so and then you could add some things on top of that. One would be a double stop. So I'm droning the open A. You could use it more sparingly, like on the first note of every four. Or something, I don't know, whatever sounds good. Lastly, you can add um, instead you can add kind of an Irishy rhythm like so. I've converted this into more of a turn. A little fancier. So we have.
So that's just another thing in your arsenal. You can add a double stop to that. And so, let's move on. Alright, so let's see, what did I do for this? I didn't do much, I think. I just added maybe an extra first finger on the A. And adding double stops. So, just basically joining DNA together. Not much added other than double stops there. Third quarter is the same as the first. Um, so, maybe in the first quarter you could do a simpler variation like... Third, you could try doing this more Irishy one. All right, it's up to you. Maybe you don't like one or the other. Um, take all these things in this video as suggestions. They're just just some ideas that I came up with just on the spot. I might not even play it the same way twice ever. All right, but you know, take what you can from it. Here's the basic version of the fourth chord. And then what I added to it, I think, was... So I just added, at the end, one, two, one, open, high three, open D. That's high three on the G. Something like that. All right, so I'm going to try to put together everything I've done so far in the A part. more double stops added. Now I'll do it one last time with some of the Irishy part added instead of this, more Irishy sounding. Mostly what I've done on the tune, we'll go over a little bit of the B part now. Do the first quarter of the B part. So the basic version of the B part, first quarter was... So, um, I'm not even sure I'm going to remember exactly how I started it with, but I think... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's different, but let's go with it anyway. All right, so. Um, I think in the, the, when I played at the beginning, I did more double stops. Maybe 
that's a little easier thing to suggest here. Just open D and A. And then for your double stop, when you go to the A3, it's just you're holding also D3 down. And then I like to slide into that. So we have. Um, and just to combine it with the other idea I had, which was. See if we can combine those ideas somehow. Something like that. There's infinite little tweaks and fiddling you can do with this, but hopefully those suggestions will work. And another thing to keep in mind is that whatever you add, take it away and compare it to the basic version to see if it's working. So here's the basic version of the first quarter again. I think it was actually like waltzing Matilda, waltzing. It's just really nice to go back to the simple, make sure you got that and to see how it fits. Now let's try our variation versions. Try this other one. Now let's try to combine the double stops and that notey version. Something like that. All right, cool. Let's try some ideas for the second quarter of the B part now. The basic version of the second quarter was this. I think I'm just going to do a double stops. But let's try something else. Basically, it's sort of a droning double stop um, notes added to. If you're unfamiliar with the D double stop scale, it's basically a D major scale. And then to make it D double stop scale, you always play D and A together. Getting good at this scale will make you really good at adding um, drone notes and double stop notes to any tune you play in D. You can also do it in G. So I have a video about more about that. I'll put a link to it in the comments field below. Um, so I think we have our whole B part now. I'm just gonna go ahead and play the entire B part. Remember the third and fourth chord are the same as the A part. So there's a lot more you could do with it, a lot less, you know, take what you can from it. There's a whole, lots of other kind of fiddle um, variation ideas I didn't even add much of, like slides, all right, or slurring, different things. So um, let me know how it goes. Let me know if that was helpful. I'll see you next time. Fiddlehead Fiddle Channel. Thanks for watching.